From clothes to groceries, you can pretty much buy anything with just the click of a button. Many shoppers say it's the lower prices that drive them online, but there are a few ways to amplify your savings even more. There's nothing worse than overspending on something you need. Lifestyle blogger Callie Bransifort says when it comes to getting the best deals online, it's all about timing. Stores and brands are really smart. They know our shopping habits and they know that most people tend to shop on weekends or early in the week when they're thinking about buying something. To get the best deals, Callie says shop on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. To get the scoop on sales before everyone else, follow your favorite stores on social media or sign up for their mailing lists. Lots of times when they're having their big semi-annual sales, they will send out an email to everyone on their newsletter the day before. And so those people can get in and shop a day early. For even more savings, take advantage of cashback services like Ebates, Ibotta, and freeshipping.com. Basically, you can shop all your favorite stores through these websites, but every time you check out, you get cash back. It can be anywhere from 3% to 10% to 15%, so it's like free money back in your pocket. Another way to save big is by buying discounted gift cards. Maybe somebody got one they don't want that one and they're selling it online at a discount sometimes it's only three percent off sometimes as much as 10 to 15 percent off just be sure to purchase that gift card from a reputable site like Callie's favorite raise promo codes can save you lots of money but finding one that works can be tricky that's why Callie recommends using the browser extension honey anytime you are on a checkout page it'll scour the website for any promo code that might work try to apply it for you there's certain stores when I'm using the honey app I can save 20 to 30 percent. I would say on average you can at least save between 10 and 15 percent. Bringing down the cost of that retail therapy. When it comes to shopping online, Kelly says don't get fooled by those free shipping that requires you to spend a certain amount of money. If you weren't going to spend that much anyways, it's not worth it. 